So take a couple of nice deep breaths in. So just check in and make sure we're breathing with that belly. So let's inhale in. Just get that, that belly moving. Inhale in. Feel that belly move. Exhale out. And you can add any arm movements we usually do sitting to warm up. So we're going to inhale. Make a fist. Exhale, push towards the ceiling. So inhale and make a fist. Exhale. Try to get those wrists as straight as you can. Inhale. Make a good fist. Exhale. Inhale. Make a fist. Exhale. Push up the sky. Inhale. Pull it down. Exhale, push it away. Get those elbows nice and straight. Inhale, make it a good strong fist. Got a stack of thousands in there. I can't get them out of your hands. Exhale, push up the sky. All right. So that should get the wrists moving a little bit, get your breathing moving a little bit. And then we'll remind us to use that breathing as we do our, our reach and twist. So we're going to inhale in. Exhale. And reach and twist as far as you can overhead. Inhale. And reach around. Inhale, you can keep your hands to the sides. Three. Inhale. Four. Good. Inhale. Five. Push them through your legs a little bit. Inhale. Six. Inhale. Seven. Inhale. Eight. And two more. Inhale. Nine. Inhale. You can leave your hands to the side. Ten for a couple more bonus ones. It's a bit more work to roll over that whole shoulder. So that gets our twisting game going. A little bit of rotation, a little bit of breathing. Now we'll bring our feet down on flat on the ground, closer to your butt. And we're going to work on those hip raises. So it's inhale, exhale, squeeze the butt cheeks, push up as high as you can. Inhale down, and you can push your hands into the ground to help that lift. Inhale down, exhale, hands into the ground, shoulder blades into the ground. Good. And each time, you're going to try and get 30% higher. Making sure you're still keeping that back flat. So the trick we worked on is you're gonna roll your back flat to the ground and then push your hips up as high as you can. Inhale down, exhale flat back, drive up. Inhale down, exhale, squeeze up. So don't let gravity take you away, you're controlling the way down. And around 12 to 15 of these, nice controlled tempo, a little bit higher, see how high you can get. When I'm watching you on the Zoom call, I'm seeing if those hips can get past a layer of books on that bookshelf. So if you're looking at the wine rack, try to get above that next bottle of wine. That nice full hip extension. So there's our squeeze in the glutes, nice high hips, then come back down. All right, so 12 to 15 of those. Get the body moving. Now we're going to roll over on your hands and knees, and we'll try our bird dive. So take a second to get yourself set up. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. Sometimes they'll be too far away, and it makes it really hard to balance. So make sure your hands are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. Your feet can be flat. If you tuck it in, you get a bit more control. So we're inhale to get set up. Exhale, right arm, left leg. So inhale in. We're gonna hold for one, two, three. Inhale in. One, two, three. Good. Inhale in. You want to try to hold, push that heel back as far as you can. Punch the arm. You can make a good fist. You get a good punch. Two, three. You're trying to make as much length from your hand to your heel as you can. And then rock. And make sure you're not rocking back. You're staying right on top of the shoulders. So reset every two or three if you need to. See if you can get a good eight of these holds. There we 
different side. It's a rest day. I'm not going to make you do 10. Nice long reach to the heel, reach to the hand. Nice and tall. And then switch sides. I think that's right. So again, make sure your hands are right under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. Inhale, exhale, reach, hold for three, and back down. Inhale, kick your heel way back and up, fist way back and up. If it's too hard, you're probably lifting too high, so just make sure you're just parallel on the ground. Inhale in, exhale, reach, three. Inhale in. Exhale, reach, two, one. Inhale in, exhale, reach. You have a nice strong body, strong hand, strong heel. And the further you reach, the harder it is to so really get a good reach, Paul. Last one. So we're in that eight to 10 range. And if you want to stick with it, you got to count out loud. Don't babble like me. So there's our bird dog. We'll get down to your sides and work on that side plank. So this one gets tricky if your arm's too far away or if your knees are tucked in too much. So try and pull your knees back so they're almost in line with your body. Get your elbow right under your shoulder. So kind of screw it in there. You can make a fist with your hand flat. And you're going to drive your hips up and forward. And we, bought, we made a 40 second record the other day, but we'll do these in five, 10 second holds to start with for that warm up round. It's your off day, you've already worked out the day before. So about that, come on back down. And if it felt funny, remember to bring your knees further back. Make sure that shoulder's packed in, you can use the other hand for some balance. And sometimes it's easier to straighten that leg out there. That nice straight line, hips off the ground. I can slide a, a little glass of water in there, maybe don't do it, but you get the idea, water bottle in there. For five, 10 seconds, getting the knees stacked. Sometimes it feels funny. You can lock that knee out. That knee's packed in. 10 seconds this round. <sighs> Take a little break. Screw that shoulder blade back in again. Let's try a record one. Let's go for 20 seconds on this one. <sighs> I won't make you count in sevens, but you can if you want to. Good, hold on to that shoulder. Hand on the ground if you need for some balance. You should be feeling your hip and your obliques. <sighs> nice little bit of breathing. My timer just went off on the screen, so I'm going to say that's in about 10. We'll do five, four, three. It should be getting hard. Two, one. Come on down. Awesome. And I'll do your little break dancing spinorama. Take a moment or two to get comfy and organized. I'll give you a second or two. Pretend I'm watching on Zoom right now. Flipping back around. So again, make sure your knees aren't too far up. So slide your knees back if they need to be, almost in line with your body. Find a comfortable spot for that shoulder. It should be, with the elbow, should be right under your shoulder. Not too far away. It'll be tough, so elbow under your shoulder. Knees back, squeeze the butt. Come on up, once you got your balance, see if you can take that arm off and hold. It might be easier to extend that top leg or even keep it bent. Those are your options there. Five, 10 seconds, take a second and make sure you're good. So again, if you're funny, make sure you pull those knees back behind you a little bit. Bring your hips forward slightly, elbows underneath you. I like that top leg extended for me. I get in, if I feel good, I'll take my hand off and we'll come here with a little 10 second hold. So making sure that shoulder feels packed in. Breathing with that belly. Your neck feels nice and comfortable. Around 10, 15 seconds. Come on back and we'll try one more. Again, just make sure that shoulder feels good. Readjust when you need to. You can make a fist with this bottom hand or hands flat. I'll try a fist this round, see how it feels. I'll use my hand to help me get up. Once I feel like I got that balance, open up and looking straight ahead. Nice breathing. And you can work on breathing as your count. Four, five, six, seven, we'll do 10 breaths. Eight, work at this whole side, use your hand if you need it. Nine, 
Oh, 10. Miraculously, you're standing, just like that. Second half of the workout are our sit-to-stands. In a critical daily life task, we've got your chouch waiting for you. I've got a nice yellow chair. And the goal here is our nice slow down, keeping those knees in line with your feet. They want to dive in, so just keep them out. So we're going three, two, one, a little touch. <sighs> nice exhale on the way up. So three, two, one, take a breath. <sighs> awesome. So the mission here is keep your feet nice and wide. Three, two, one. <sighs> Ten's too easy for you, so we're gonna do 15. Three, two, one. If you feel like really being entertaining for yourself, you can count in sevens. I think that's 28. Three, two, one. 35. You get the idea of that dual tasking trick. Three, two, one. 42. Three, two, one. Your focus is on the breathing here. So three, two, one. Three, two, one. I need someone to count with me here. It's too complicated. Three, two, one. We'll do five more because I'm pretty sure that's 10. Three, two, one. You're following along, so if you did less, lucky you. Three, two, nice and slow down. Works those muscles. Those are feel this in your quads and your butt. Two, one. Nice strong up. Three, two, one. Full extension, so legs are nice and straight. Three, Two, one, two more good ones. Three, two, one. One more good one. Three, two, one. One for shits and giggles since you're doing so well. Two, one. Awesome. So the hands are up there for balance. And take a seat and relax. So make sure you don't forget to stay nice and tall on this one. Don't let the posture take you down. Hug nice and tall and use that breathing. Take a second or two, catch your breath. By this point, from the floor, rolling around into our bridges, bird dogs, side planks, we're closing in on kind of 10, 11 minutes. So this should get you close to 15. If you're feeling good, you can go through this again and just stop it there. For a little bonus, we'll work on our punching skills. So we'll get you up, get you into your fighter stance, left leg forward, right leg back, hands up. And we'll do 10 good jabs with the left and 10 good crosses with the right. And then we'll switch sides. So your goal here is speed. <laughs> nice and fast, out and in. So just that left hand. <laughs> Back in. Two. <laughs> Three, using that breathing. <laughs> Four, nice and straight. <laughs> Five, double time. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> 10. Whew, there we go. We got that cross hand to do. So again, feet nice and wide, big wide stance, and we'll go left. This is your right. One, get that balance, a little twist in the hips, right? Two, if you're feeling really fired up, you can grab those dumbbells. Three, like the other day. Four, so really trying to extend that arm. Five, double time here. Six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna switch your stance. Right leg forward, left leg back. I got the spotlight on me here, it's nice and warm. So again, we're gonna go right jab. One, keeping my feet, just a little weight shift. Two, straight back. Three, straight back. Four, straight back, keeping that left arm up in your chin. Five, here we go, double time. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right. Now that left and that cross. We want a little more twisting now. Two, straight elbow. Three, straight elbow. Punching across your body. Four, watch that twist. Five, nice. Double time. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Hands back your sides. You can take a seat. Your work here is done for now. Um, um, dada. Yeah, bud. No, Bucky.